Hello, friends. My name is Ms. Carmack, and I'm here today to share another story with you about celebrating Jesus. If you and your parents want to read the story, it's in the Bible in Matthew chapter 10, verses 34 through 42. Today, our story is about welcoming everyone and making friends. Jesus was always helping someone, and we want to be like Jesus, right? But sometimes it's hard to know where to start. So let's start with one small step at a time. If we look at how to help piece by piece and help with little steps first, soon we'll look back and we'll see we helped with big steps after all and did big things for Jesus. So here's an example. I'm gonna turn on the whiteboard here and let's learn how to draw something together, okay? So give me one second. Let me make it big. All right, there we go. All right, so when you start with the drawing, to make it easy, you start small. So let's see, if I were going to draw a cup of water, I think the first thing I would draw would be a line right here. And then let's make another line over here. I know my lines aren't even, but that's okay. Let's make a smiley face at the bottom. Ooh, but we wanna make sure the smiley face touches both the lines. And guess what? We're gonna do the same thing at the top. Another smiley face, but make sure it touches both lines. Whoop. And then guess what? We're gonna turn that smiley face into an upside down frown on top of that other smiley face right here at the top. Whoop. Just like that. And there you go. And then finally, you can do one more smiley face right here in the middle. And you can draw some wavy lines to make it look like water. And if you wanted to, you can even draw blue and color it in, and it looks like water. So there you go. We've drawn a cup of water. Whoa, guys! What's going on? We're exercising. I have brought a new friend today, Miss Carmack. We just want to make sure her she was ready, so we're warming up. Ah, my name is Sally. I'm so excited to see what y'all have been up to. But man, I am thirsty. I'm a seal. And all this exercise really makes me need a cup of water. Nice to meet you, Sally. Can you guess what? The kids and I were just learning how to draw a cup of water. So here you go. Wow, thank you. Bucky, would you like some? Thank me too, you. me too. Hi, Salki. So what are we learning about today? Yeah, what are we learning about today? Our story today describes how if we help each other, we are helping Jesus. The kids and I were just talking about how it's hard to know just how to start helping each other. And I was explaining how if we find one little step first and how we can help, soon we'll be helping with big steps. What do you mean? Is that why you're drawing water glasses? Thank you again. That water hit the spot. Yes, exactly. We started with one line, and then another, and another, and soon we had drawn a whole glass of water. So how can we help people by drawing stuff? Well, I mean, people like art, right? Yeah, but that's not what I meant. We need to look around for little things we can do to help each other. For example, once we get back to church and Sunday school, we can make sure to be friendly to new friends and to our old friends that we haven't seen in a long time. That's gonna be a while. We told us when we go to church at first. But that's gonna, but then we just have to wave at everyone. We can't hug and hug and run around. That's gonna be so hard. It really is gonna be hard. I agree. But we want to stay healthy and help everyone else not get sick, right? So waving and following directions to stay safe really is helping everyone else too. That's one small step we can do at first. But that's still hard, and we can't go to church just yet. What else can we do to help other people right now, even though we are far away? I have an idea. Remember how we talked a few weeks ago about calling people we love and making sure they know we were thinking of them? Oh, and sending them homemade cards. Exactly. And I know you guys won't like this, but you can help around the house. Ugh. Back to chores! I love to sweep, and I get so excited when my mom lets me. And even if I make a mess, she helps me and I don't get, and doesn't get bad. Does that count? Yes! 
hmm, I don't like sweeping, but I love to organize our games and the cat toys in the living room after everyone has played with them. My family doesn't notice, but I know it helps. Does that count? Yes. Even though they think it's a little thing, it really is so helpful. Yeah, I hate putting stuff away, but I love to vacuum. I sometimes pick up stuff accidentally and my dad has to clean out the vacuum, but he's still so happy when I help. Does that count? Yes. You guys are getting it. Do what you like doing at first to help out in little ways. Then try to help with stuff that's harder or that you don't like as much. Your family will be so happy to have your help. Even if you mess up a little at first, that's okay. Just make sure you ask your parents if it's okay to help before you start something new. That way they won't think you're doing something silly instead of helping. So we can help our families. And help others from a distance. And that means we're helping Jesus. Exactly. You've got it. And when you are helping each other, you're making everyone feel welcome as a part of the family of God. And even though we miss church, we are still the family of God from far away. God is always with us, is what my dad keeps telling me. And once we get back to church, in our building, or outside in the grass, our church family will be so happy to be back together and see one another. Safely, of course. Yes, exactly. No matter where we are, we are welcome in the family of God, and we can serve Jesus every day and everywhere we are. Let's pray. Dear God, sometimes living up to your example can seem like a huge job, but we know that little things can make a very big difference. Help us to remember all the little ways that we can show our love and kindness every day. Amen. Well, thank you guys for visiting today. We'll see you next time. Bye.